Page 2. This land is your land. This piece is in 4-4 time. They say it's in middle C position, so your thumbs go in middle C. Fingers go around it. I'd still like you to be able to figure out the position without them telling you what position it's in though. Because it's pretty easy to do. You just look at the music. At the beginning you see in the treble clef the thumb is on middle C. So if you take my right hand and do that, that's where the right hand goes. And then we have to look over on page 3 for the left hand. When it comes in, it's fourth finger on the G. That's a G. It's asking you for the note name. I gave it away. It's a G. Put your fourth finger there. If you do that, that's where the left hand goes. Well, that's middle C position. Now at the beginning here, you have a rest on beat 1. So it's like 1, 2, 3, 4. Rest, 2, 3. So that's how that's. We got rest in here. We got to be careful about those. So here, 1 at the beginning, it's rest, 2, 3, 4. Half notes get two counts, right? One, two, three, four, rest. So make sure you have no get two counts, quarter notes get one count, and look at the bottom on page three. At the end, you have a C, a middle C, that's a whole note. That gets four counts. And then after that you get a whole measure of rest, and I'll explain that in a minute, why that's there. It's, it's like, why do I need a measure of rest at the end? No. That's all right. There's a reason. Now, as far as the rhythm goes, it's pretty simple. Now the rhythm is like the quarter notes and the half notes, how long you're holding each note out. That's rhythm. And most of the time you're either getting quarter notes or half notes. It's no big deal. You have a whole note at the end. No big deal. But take a look at the last line on page three in the first measure. We got a quarter note, a half note, quarter note. So you have to count that out carefully. So the quarter note is on beat one. Half notes on beat two, but the la other quarter note that's on beat four. So careful there. So it's one, two, three, four. So hold that out because it's, it's a little syncopated and it's, it's not quite what you might think. Now dynamic wise, they're giving you an MF at the beginning. That's mezzo forte, medium loud, moderately loud, sort of loud, kind of loud. You know, it it's not a set loud. It's what do you think? sort of loud is. It's not loud. It's a little softer than that. So it's up to you. And I'd like you to understand everything you're seeing in the music. Now forget the teacher accompaniment part. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about your part. If you look on page three at the beginning of each line there's a number above the staff in a box. That's a measure number. That's the way different publishers use different methods for measure numbers. Some don't put measure numbers in at all. Some put them in at the beginning of the line and then if you're looking for a different measure you have to count across. So it's like, oh, well if I'm looking for measure 12, where's that at? Well I see there's a 10 and a 14 so 12 is in between those so I go to 10 and I count across 11, 12. So 12 would be the third measure on that row, on that line. And that's how measure numbers work. They're not that important so much when you're playing by yourself, but if you're playing with other people, like this duet part that's here, measure numbers become important because that way if you mess up and you have to start in the middle someplace, you can just decide on what measure number you're going to start on and you both can start on the same measure that way. It's easier that way because you can't refer to line and measure numbers because the teacher's part is the lines are different than the students part so they don't necessarily match up. So you have to use measure numbers. Now at the beginning of this it says cheerfully. Cheerfully is not a speed. Normally that's a speed to tell you how fast to go. They're just giving you the mood of the piece and that's okay because music is mood. It's emotion. So how fast would you play it if you're cheerful? I don't know. About one, two, three. One, two, three, four. One, two, one, two, three, four. You have to learn it first and then you gradually speed it up. That tells you eventually how fast you need to go. I'd like to play it with you just to check your notes and rhythms to make sure you're getting them right. So the idea is for us to play it at the same time and hopefully you can tell if you're playing the same note I am 
at the same time I am. That way you can verify that you have, because if you're playing a wrong note and you don't have a teacher, how do you know you're playing a wrong note? That's a problem. So this way you can check that. So go ahead and put your hands in middle C position and I'm going to give us five counts. That's a full four counts because it's a four four time and then you have a rest at the beginning so we come in on beat two. So be ready. One, two, three, four, rest. One, two, three, four, rest. Rest. Two, three, four, rest. Two, three, four, rest. One, two, three, four, rest. Rest two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Rest two, three, four. Off. There is a teacher accompaniment, so we can do a duet. So I'll do that part and you do the part you just did. And this is where that empty measure at the end on the bottom of page 3 comes in. It simply means you're not playing during that measure but somebody else is. Something's going on. So during that measure, after you play the whole note and you're done, the teacher part still has notes to play. So you just patiently wait till they finish and then the song is over. Now at the beginning of this, this first measure where you have a rest and three quarter notes, the teacher part doesn't have any notes that measure, they're resting. The teacher part doesn't come in until you play the half notes here. So those first three notes you're by yourself. So I'm going to count you in, I'll give you five counts and then you'll start, if you like I can play those notes with you, and then when you do the half notes, then I'll start with the teacher part. So let's try that. Go ahead and put your hands in middle C position. Here we go. One, two, ready, go, rest. <laughs> 